those technical things that just oh yeah <laughs> they just happen they just happen and then i got a special guest in the house today and it is the right reverend Bishop, oh, uh, let's give it up. Do let's throw it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, yeah, what are the applause at, John? What are the applause at? I know. I gotta get him in there. Don't, don't you elevate me? With elevation come back. There it is. There it is. Don't yeah, there it is. There it is. I ain't got no money for no report. <laughs> <laughs> not for the not for the annual reports, I Bishop. I got no money for no reports, man. With elevation come taxation. I ain't, I ain't uh, got. It. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, but we got the bishop, uh, Bishop uh, uh, Willis in here. I like to call him that man, the right reverend, mastering in yes, multi uh, multiple award winning uh, uh, man, engineer extreme. If you don't know who this guy is, you're going to know who he is before we get out of here, because his credits uh, go Man, probably about as long as the uh, long as the now river at this point. I mean, he's been <laughs> he's been, or at least the Mississippi. If we ain't getting the now, we at least gonna get the Mississippi. Man, can I just get the Illinois River. <laughs> yeah, the Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> so we are gonna rock with that. But now Willis is um amazing mixing mastering engineer who's been killing the game. I uh, mean, throw us some of your credits, man. Some of the stuff you've been working on, just some of the notable ones that you want people to kind of know about what you've been You know I'm not in the name dropping like that, man. Yeah, not, drop a few, man. We got we to gotta establish, we gotta establish who you Phoenix. are out the gate. <laughs> <laughs> man, man. Uh, gee whiz. Uh, goodness. Fred Hammond, Donnie McClurkin, Bishop Paul Morton, Camberrell, Hezekiah Walker, Bashan Mitchell, a few a few that's just a few that's just a few and i know it's 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 a ton more than that man so uh it's just it just it just proves that that space that we're in uh where you get a chance to work with some of the legends and some of the greats which uh segues us into today's uh topic that we want to kind of mess with you guys on uh the stellar awards is this week um out in Vegas, right. I believe they're doing it out at and everything. And um, if you don't know what the Stellars is, because um, I know we got a varied audience, some people, you know, that are watching that are not even, you know, they just like watching us because they think we're interesting, but they don't really, you know, they don't know nothing about the gospel world like that. But in gospel, the Stellars is basically equivalent to the Grammys uh on the secular side of things it's basically the gospel grammys uh they've been doing this what are they at 36 37 years now yeah, a long time don't give me the storyline uh <laughs> when it was a long time ago Bobby it's Trump a long time, time ago yeah they they've been doing this for a minute and uh it's basically like the gospel grammys uh but you know uh and shout out to them for that because a lot of oh people man don't last. absolutely Bro, it's grown, it's it's grown, grown eight eight years on the website yeah 38 years over, yeah, 30 over 38 over 38 it's 39 so we talking in the 80s sometime yeah, yeah we're talking like it back in the 80s we somebody can do that math and get us exactly when that was or probably just google it 84 90 you said 94 80 no 84, 84. if it's 84. if it's been 39 so years what, 39 years yeah so that's a long time to be that's almost 40 years of award ceremonies just honoring people uh, in our industry, uh, from, you know, all of our esteemed gospel artists have all won awards, uh, in those cat in various categories and stuff. And, uh, we're going to dig into a lot of that today, but one of the tasks, uh, on hand today that we want to talk about is, uh, the categorization of different things that they kind of throw out in the stellars. And one thing that me and Raj, we've had some uh, conversation about me and Dale, all of us, I think at one point have had this conversation of they have categories for various different things. You know, you have your common, your artist of the year, best, you know, new male vocalist, uh, new female vocalist, you know, contemporary choir and all of these different categories, like 30 some categories. Um, they even have... Um, what is it? Um, uh, gospel radio announcer of the year and different on, things God. like that. But there's no category. Hold on, you forgot one. You forgot no, one that really forget. makes me just wonder about this. Packaging. They still have Ooh. an award for best packaging. But matter of fact, no hold hate, on. No hold shade on. on the packagers. Let's look at it. Hold on. Let me pull this up real quick. 
I'm gonna pull this up real quick. Let's 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 adjust this a little bit so we can all be in here and see it. So this is like these are the categories that they got here on the site. This is 2023 categories, and these are some of the people Artists that are nominated. Come Artists on, of the dope. year. You Come got. On, Song of, the year. Song of the year, you got uh male artist yeah. of the year, you got I'm not up there. The Albertina Walker, female artist. Female of the artist year. of the year. How female artists got a name, but man, you got female artists. Tasha. You got dual chorus group of the year. Okay. Shout okay. out to Group Fire. There you go, right there. there. We was just talking group about that. Let me let me shout out to my nephews, Group Fire. That's my work. That's another stellar. I didn't know that. So you yeah, know he did group um, fire. So you know, okay, you know some more of my family, cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's this crazy. Year I got the group fire, the Hawkins boys. Well, they're nominated. Um, yeah. Category. I probably got like three nominated this year. Dude, you yeah. mastered your great name. Let's just start with that. Yeah, come yeah. on, let's start there. Let, let's let's get that. Back. Oh no, I know stats. You know, I like sports. He, he, he left that one sport. out. Your great name was mastered by this guy up here, which should have gotten every award. Yeah, right. and it did actually. Your great name probably got like. Nine seven eight nine stellar awards, yeah, huge. That's crazy. New artist, album of the year. I don't seen Ty Tribbett up there. There's uh, Sicardi, yeah, they got they tied and been up there like 90. Past the notice, notice the Maverick Mark. City Times, Kirk Franklin. Like, they have, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. They're gonna get lumped in. Choir of the year, y'all go stop. Uh, so, check this. This is dope. This just Producer. happened. This just happened, I think, a couple of years ago. They start. Mm -hmm. They finally added producer of the year, uh, and they, so James guys. Fortune and they they got Dave in there. It's really Dave. That's just, shout just out Dave. D Lo. It should D -Lo. be Dave. Shout out D Lo, man. <laughs> so, but they got out, they got listen, James in say there. Say that one hundred <laughs> times. Yep. And then they got Rod Turner, my guy Rod Turner, with uh, Mike Pastor Mike Jr. Uh, you got Tony Brown, Kirk Franklin, Chandler Morse. You got now. With that, can I uh, say something about that? Something about that, John. One of yeah, the yeah, things yeah. I do love that the Stellas does that I don't think the Grammys does. In fact, I'm saying I don't think, but I, they don't do it. Yeah. If you're on the album, you can't be nominated as the producer. Oh, the really? Album. Yeah. So that. if you're the artist, um, unless this has changed, <clears throat> the last information I got was. If you're the artist and you self self produced the album, you can't be nominated in the producer category. You might want that to may, fact that check. May, that may be changing this year. I'm a, with the next. They made quite a few changes. Uh, yeah. you know, for this next season. Well, we're learning how it works. Yeah. So we more of us are getting involved. Rico Love, shout out, shout out yep. to, uh, to Rico mm -hmm. Love for, for his his new position. I think he's doing an incredible job. From yeah, what I can see. So they so got yeah, Ty, I just want to throw that out there. Oh no, that's dope. They got Ty Tribute as a produ under producer of the year and well, Travis he, Green under Travis. That's what I mean. Like you know, that would that wouldn't happen in, in a yeah. That would not that's why I wanted to mention. Yeah, contemporary duo uh, group fires in on that as well. Uh, you got contemporary male art. So there's a lot of categories. Traditional male art. There's one specific one I'm looking for. Is that Marvin Wine? As I just saw. Oh, I'm tripping. Let's see. I just it's saw Winans and saw a guy, so maybe that just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's what's it called? CC. Yeah, that was CC. Uh, then you got uh, uh Taj just all the way up there, all the time, all the way and all the way. He gonna get. He gonna um, get some. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Um, Brent uh, Jones, I, come on, Brent Jones. Yeah, man. It's still Brent a TP Jones. mob. Yep. So they got them in there. Urban inspirational. So these are not a lot of tech music video of the year is in there. Uh, but it's great. one special event. It's, it's one I'm looking for. It's in here. It's down here. I know it's in here because we saw it earlier. Youth Project of the Year. Shout out everything. to our AMG kids. That's label mates. Quartet of the Year. What my quartet yes, head sir. Yeah, they got Come on, Doc. I was there. It is. On. Don't, don't play with me. Here it is right here. This is what I'm looking for. Recorded Music Packaging of the Year. So, so is that, they, that's gra like some more graphics and, and that's the and graph whatnot. that's the that's the inserts the, the packaging like hey, the packaging. hey no now listen now let <laughs> no me say this on the, on no. no shade on the pack no shade and, and let me say this I've seen albums sell because of the way they look over the way they sound. True statement. Mm. I mean that's I, true. I got, it's, I'm, it's, not, it's I'm, a, not, I'm not. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, not yeah. 
I'm yeah, not yeah, that package is important because we can't the keep taking pictures. Like see. This. But this not supposed to be about the consumer side of it, though. It's supposed to be about the industry saying like this is the people we want to recognize and the categories we want to recognize. So you recognizing the people that's doing graphics over the people that's doing sound. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's a matter of of since we didn't jumped on in here, uh -huh. and I told you I was here today to to <laughs> never mind. Yeah, but here, yeah. here's my here's my deal. Here, from what I know of how awards work, and this is in any context: Doves, Stellas, Oscars, Grammys, yeah. whatever. Yeah. There's a system that allows categories to be developed system that 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 says hey we're going to actually give this award publicly or we're going to give it earlier right those are systems mm -hmm. one of the challenges that i think we may have within the category of engineers is the community is small smaller mm -hmm. and what i know the grammys a couple of years ago gospel was having a challenge because they needed it wasn't a healthy what they call a healthy category it wasn't it wasn't robust enough to say, OK, we, we have enough here that we can choose from to say this is actually an actual, uh, for lack of a better way to put it, competition. So I think one of the if you talk about, let's say we looked at recording music packaging of the year as John, John has so uh, uh, beautifully left on the screen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, so so what I'm saying is the category in any award show has to be robust enough for yeah. them to maintain it over a period of time. If yeah. you look at the people who are nominated, I'm going to be honest with you. I can probably count the five engineers. Yeah. And that's, that's the point that I, uh, that I wanted to make. That's the biggest thing that I wanted to highlight. We have recorded music of the year. And I think we get down here. There's also like radio gospel radio gear. You got gospel, announcer of the year yeah you got you got different markets too they have just the overall radio yeah, they, they got, have the different size markets yeah they got internet, internet radio yep small yeah. cap because you can't cap, put internet cap. radio with 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 uh, a mainstream radio it makes sense i mean it makes sense the thing that i that, that major I market of the year major market of the year they, yeah, they yeah. got so yeah, major market me, that's, large that's market and scary. Medium. So that's a scary category, major market of the year. I know we're not we talking about engineers, but the reason why I say that is all the cities I'm looking at are huge cities. I'm from a place yeah. called Newport News, Virginia. We may now we were a heavy market for gospel back in the day, mm -hmm. but we I don't think we could ever compete with Atlanta. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> Two hundred thousand yeah, versus so all nine of these million. categories. All of these categories we got which are really, really dope all the way down to producer of the year and, and all of these different yeah, things like one, that. But none, one. not one for the engineers. Hey, let me say this, man. Let me just get this Talk, out uh, Let's get you over here, man. Couple, everybody couple stop, years, hold, on. Ago, hold on. I, I got, got you, everybody. I, I, I've been, Hold the door. I've been quite vocal on this subject and let me just preface what I'm gonna say with this. I have no problem with any other category that's being recognized. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know, everybody's contributing one way or the other. But yeah. what I do have a problem with is when you look at, as you know, my man just said, you know, when you look at the actual production of the record, who had their hands, who had their hands on, yeah. on the mm -hmm. production of the record, you know, from beginning to end True deal. and you omit, you know, any facet of that, that's just a travesty. You yeah. know, and then, mm -hmm. and what, what adds insult to injury is when you, add people who didn't have anything to do with the making of that record yeah i'm not hating on nobody at all i hey congratulations right but when but when mm -hmm. you have people mm -hmm. it's like man if we release the untuned vocals of some of these artists y'all really know what it is hold on See, hello i remember that post i remember that post from from a while ago let's just let's leave i'm just <laughs> saying i'm just saying we're gonna stay safe we go stay I'm, safe. I, i'm just i'm just saying People don't realize, you know, behind the scenes with these mix engineers. Actually, let's start with the recording engineers. They don't even realize the importance of the recording engineers. They don't realize the importance of the mix engineers or the mastering engineer. Because without these three people, yeah, you gonna have garbage. Trash. And sometimes you get garbage at the recording, but it's it's it is salvaged at the mix. 
Well, yeah. sometimes you get a bad mix and it's salvaged at the master. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, these are big we've facts. Seen, we've seen all versions. All versions of that. Seen it all. On so the let me, I have a question. So, 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 uh, let me ask you a question. So, one of the challenges, I think, I'm going I'm to say a statement, then the question. Mm. How do we manage this category? And the reason why I'm asking is, right now, we're at a different time. Like, everybody, everybody up here has been on, you know, been working in this industry since, you know, we've seen the Patty change. Was a puppy. Uh -oh, we yeah, lost well, we we've seen we've okay. seen the change between you know uh -oh, when we were. I lost my audio. Uh oh, come give oh, it back to him. Give it back to him. You give him back that audio. I cannot uh -oh. hear. Uh oh, are we back? Yeah, we. I we can hear you though. See, yeah, I can hear you. Can y'all you hear me? Yeah, we 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 can I hear can you. Yeah, we can. Hear you. Man. And, so, Cause, and the only reason I paused because because my question was actually to him. To him. But I guess Do I, I need can to ask come out and come back in. Yeah, try that, try that, and then we'll we'll, we'll do that. We'll we'll yes. uh, look at the what we got in while we while we get him back in. Yeah, come back in. Go out and come back in. We'll let him. We'll let him uh, get out and and come back in. It's the sound. It's the sound of his fingers on the. <laughs> camera that's taking me down that's funny but yeah yeah yeah. no uh let's see did we get any uh did we get any questions in while we wait no uncle to come back here no we okay, got no cool. we got no questions I think right he's now. back okay let's see did that work doc yeah i got you all right we, there we go back okay in the, we back in play now we back in play we see what the devil play. tried to do yeah. see so see because he knew this question was going to, I, I had a question so he's yeah, yeah Vaughn was, was asking pose question. it to the panel so uh, here's my question to everybody we've been in, we've all everybody on this call has been in the industry long enough to see it change it used to be a time if you didn't have a budget a real budget you couldn't you couldn't record bro. right you, you you and especially not in a live album yeah you're talking about you gotta you had to get a tape truck you had to get so many things <clears throat> since the new and and everybody's every genre is dealing with this right now yeah. okay so it's not just exclusive to us but specifically for what we're talking about how do we manage this category because who counts at like like what is the requirement mm -hmm. um what you just like right now we're doing you know does the the artist uh who had does the engineer for the church that has the behringer uh x32 that record and i'm not hating on okay listen i'm not hating on the x32 but we all know why i said that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like once <laughs> we have once they find out they could usb that thing boy yep. you know engineer um, change their bio yeah, I, i'm a i'm an engineer i can come and so so what is the what how do we manage right because if we're just going off of sonics the truth is we don't know which part of the process that things got fixed in yeah, because well, everybody me, isn't isn't a Roger Willis or or a Yash or any of these guys. To me, to me, I would say let's start with the obvious. If they're going to nominate a a, a body of work or a single, mm -hmm. then the people attached to it should should be considered. Yeah, because mm -hmm. what's the metric for the Grammys? What how do, how does how does the I Grammy mean with the Grammys? I know Grammys like have that. as far as I know, if you're attached to it you can get it for your category. Yeah, so like if you on. engineered the best winning uh, record of the year, your award would say for engineering. Like that's right. what it would say yeah, on the bottom yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I've gotten nominated uh, on the Grammy side, but now it's like, you know, you have to do like two thirds of the record if it's a whole record. Right. Wow. You know? Right. So same thing with writers, by the way, you, if you, if you've written more than half of the song, you get of which I would know more about that that you you get a Grammy for that yeah. as well. If it's like album of the year. But the funny thing about the Grammys is like I could have done the number one song on the record, the reason why the record got a Grammy, but because mm. I didn't do mm -hmm. that that percentage, I'm out. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. You could have been the difference maker. Exactly. Yeah. So Come yeah, like I'm with Dale on that. So so why don't we have the the the, the that, that option as an engineer, or even if you record, like if you recorded on the project, if you produced on the project, 
Um, you know what I mean? I know the the metrics are a whole lot bigger when we get to gospel because, you know, like you said, there's so many hands that touch a gospel record because then it, it gets down to the macro. Well, I play based on the record. Well, I play whatever on the record. I play whatever, whatever. I play whatever. based on the live even though I got overdub. Right, even though I got overdub. I was on hey, now that one. <laughs> I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. I ain't saying no names. But for real though, so yeah, I can, I can see how. But I mean, so like I know, like in the Oscars, there's a a best sound, which that changed recently, like in the last couple of years, where they went down to just a best sound category. And then in the Emmys, there's outstanding outstanding sound editing and outstanding sound mixing. So they split those two up. Because so they, I think with the credits, process. there is a way to at some point mm -hmm. to dis determine like who did what. You know, now granted, we all know maybe somebody assistant did half the mix, and then you know they put right. their name on it as the final mix. But I mean, that's just kind of the way the cookie yeah, crumbles least, sometimes. At least, on, at least on the academy, they do have best you know master albums, but hardly in the urban community, nobody ever nominates anything for that. <laughs> so I don't even know if we're even aware. Many of us. Uh, of those categories, but getting back to the the stellars, to answer Vaughn's question again, I just feel like if a body of work or a single or whatever reaches the point where it is nominated, then I think it's shade to not pull along the other people to work on that record. Yeah. Well, who's a part of Sagma that is in terms of that that nomination product process or that category uh, or creating those categories? Because I'm sure that's done by committee. Right. The question Alleg is, allegedly, who are the engineers? Who are the engineers? To me, that's a producer thing, too. Right. If more producers are in the room, the things that I'm thinking about are that are important to me as a producer are my Roger Willis's are exactly. my you know, my mixing engineers, my mastering engineer. I know that I don't care what pre-mix I got. When I send it to those guys, they're the ones that really make, I send it to them for a reason. Exactly. If it was good enough when it left me, yeah, it would be it out. So, I think, so I, I think we have to push more for that. I think, I think in my opinion, and it's just, this is just my opinion. I think when the artists, because the artists that I have spoken to, most, if not all of them are not aware of this travesty. And I think when the artists began to stand up and say, hey, you know, I got a team of people that I work with, you know what I'm saying? And my team needs to be recognized because I have tried, I've, I have literally been asked to join the organization and try to change it from the inside. And I told one person, you must be a special kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, I said what I said. Why in the world, <laughs> why in the world would I give you my money? But you don't recognize me. Well, no. I, I, now, let me let me say this though. Can, can I say? Can I say this? Can I say this? Let me add one thing to that. If you want instant, an instant increase in your membership and your subscription, why don't you? Why don't you just simply acknowledge the engineers and a whole bunch of us are joining? Exactly. How about that? Yeah, yeah, no, agreed. Well, but you said something before that. You said you were asked to join. You wanted to change it from the. You were asked to join to change it from the inside. I was asked by someone that maybe instead of saying what I was saying, that I should join and try to do what I can do from the inside. And I'm like, if I can't do what I can do, if 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 the people at the top that are making these decisions, who who I have contacted, by the way, <laughs> if they don't, I'm sure speak, you have because I know. If they don't see the importance of recognizing, then what in the world? Why in the world would I give it? <laughs> that don't make no sense. We, we're only because we're only heard when we. Uh, and I say this, and, and this is just something I've learned. We're only heard when we're in the room. If we ain't in the oh, room, they, they hear we, me. Are, they, we're, we're not heard. They hearing me out here. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> You John, I'm trying. You try. <laughs> but see what's crazy though. Look at this though. So like you said, like if the artist, you know, it, they don't know, but we can look at social media. An artist will post a album cover and be like, "Oh, shout out to the photographer and this person and this person." Engineer don't get no love. Producer don't get no love unless they help write the record. Well, I, so I think, even I in that aspect, we getting, still see the slight. Some artists are getting a little better at that because the, the whole lack of. Acknowledgement on credits is a whole nother pod. That's, that's, that's a, a whole, whole nother, nother podcast. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't want y'all to rip that scab off. I just finished healing from that. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, because it's like, hey, man, when you go out there and look look at my stuff, according to what's out there in the atmosphere, I ain't matched the records in 99. <laughs> oh, it's, it's ridiculous. God. It's yeah. ridiculous. That's and ridiculous. it's like, we got to fight for credit. We got to, I mean, this is what we do this for. I mean, we do this, the, the credits, that's our resume. Getting acknowledged for when, when we yeah. do work that people yes. really love, this is a part of our resume. I'm not ask. I don't. I don't really care about the pat on the back. Really, not so much. But what you're mm -hmm. trying to do is strip me from my. You're trying to strip my resume. Mm. You can mm. acknowledge everybody mm, yeah, else, yeah. Mm. but you're not him. So that, that kind of goes back to what Vaughn said. I can't get mad about, at you. That's big. Um, Vaughn has said about the fact that how do we manage this? So is the management to where we got to make sure like, hey, credits are being given to the pe to the engineers, to the producers. That way the academy, the not the academy, but the Stellars can look and say, OK, cool. There's these people that have worked on the record that need to be acknowledged because if they don't even if, if the artists don't put it down, then the Stellars are looking at stuff and they don't even know that we exist. Maybe. Mm. Well, if you don't, if, I'm going to tell you something. Here, here's something I have learned. We don't one. One of the challenges is we don't have CD packaging hardly anymore, right? right? I'm a student, right? So I used to love going to the store, oh, getting that CD, that smell when you fresh out, rip me out the plastic. <laughs> You got a, you like, got a problem. Rip that you like, and then I would, and then I would pop the bottom <laughs> off and peel it back so I could still keep the, the tape on Come the on. top. And then you would go through those. Credit, credit, right? Absolutely. I don't know if I don't know if people realize what 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 A and R really is. People think A and R is just listening to music. A and R is really a lot of paperwork. Yeah. Wow. You're you're there to make sure all of those things that deal with that album. Once you're assigned an artist, assign an album to make sure all of those credits and everything is turned in. That's number one. Number two, the other channel that we have is. This is not a trained music industry anymore. This is, I can sing, since we're talking about the, the, the sellers, I talk yeah. about gospel music. This is, I can sing, I can rap, I got talent. My, my pastor told me Sunday I should make an album and we're going we gonna to record the worship team on Sunday. And, and, they, and they're learning to grow, go. So I'm just trying to bring yeah. a certain level of balance to the whole conversation that no, big facts. I know. Right, but the average artist, straight up, the average artist does not know what goes into making their song. Absolutely, all they know is I sing it, I get the idea, and oh my God, it's so great. And now the producer may get may get some acknowledgement because of yeah the the whole process nine times out of ten. So you're gonna spend the most time with yeah. them. But you don't know the engineers that produces you for editing. How about that? When you yeah. when you have, have an editing it, man. Let me tell you something. I sat with them drums because I didn't start producing gospel. I told you guys until Tasha, and when I got them acoustic wow. drums back, and I looked at that in front of Logic back in that time, and they won't know Ableton, won't know nothing. I think it was very early on the flex time, very early. Right, and I had to sit there and figure out how how to fix these drums. Let me tell you something. I literally almost cried. So we there's there's so <laughs> so many process. There's so 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 many steps in the process. If you're a Roger Willis, you may have somebody set everything up for you, and then you come in and make make magic happen. If you're uh, on another level, you may have to do all the editing yourself, all the tuning yourself, um, um all. All the set and all of that sort of thing yourself uh and yeah. shoot bouncing down stint all of that stuff that's a part of it the average artist just does not know what goes into no it so again we need people who are involved in the process to start yeah. mentioning and acknowledging hey this would be a healthy category because you get what i'm saying yeah. and, and, and as far as as far as i'm concerned I have attempted on um, multiples of times to try and educate the powers that be at these organizations as, hey, you know, I, I don't feel for a minute that any of this was on purpose. 
Mm. I don't. No, feel, I don't think it's malicious. I don't feel it's malicious at all. But it's a, it's all about once you've been made. Once you when you know better, you ought to do better. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Mm. And at yeah, the end of the day, most all probably. these organizations should know better by now. Especially, especially the Stellas. I've I've talked to you know I've reached out to everybody, and I'm like. I, I have no beef with the Stellars. I have, I mean, it's great. I, I'm glad that I have customers that benefit. I'm glad that they do what they do. I think it's great, but I th- I think that there's just some it, there's some areas where they could do better, and this is one of them. <laughs> it's, it's just mm. simple as that. It's yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's just it's, it's just that simple. This is a this should really be a no brainer. Yeah, it's, I think it's gonna happen. I think it will too. I think it's I also think we need more engineers too. That part. Yeah. That, that's what I was gonna say. I think it's 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 it would be advantageous to push more of us into the forefront because you have because like you know, Roger just said, like all we have as the engineers or as the people that are producing or doing these records, because we are behind the scenes, the S E E N S, not the scenes like a movie scene, but the people that are seen seen and heard we're behind the scenes and so these people are be, are the ones that are seen and heard and we're the ones behind it making it all happen but so all we have is the credits and so like like this you said our true. credit system with genius and all music and all of that stuff is broken yeah nobody's really well don't 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 trust all music. Yeah. i'm sorry if all music is washing i'm sorry Bro, if, yeah if it's, all music is watching, they put all the, the all the stuff i did for kenny i got kenny Lattimore. Indiari, wow, uh, some other stuff, and then they have me under religious, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is fine. I got yeah, no yeah. problem with it, but I'm just what what I what I will say though is if we get more engineers, shout out to John Horses and everything where you, you can learn your craft and become better. With, then it becomes a healthier category. Here's what normally happens though. We say, I want an album. I want my album to sound like Kirk Franklin. Well, who mixed Kirk Franklin? Come on. Okay, well, let me call John Yash. Right? Mm-hmm. So so what happens is we, re- and this is no shade. It, you know, I, I mean, well, I don't have no, to say no, that because no, I, know, I know all of those guys and they know, know me personally. So it's not like they know I'm not trying to be funny. But what I am saying is I did hear, this is a, now this is a, a, a free, this is free jewelry. Mm. What I did. I learned this. Somebody told me you should find an engineer that is around your at your same tenure in the- because no, if you plan point. to have a 20 year career and you get an engineer that's on their way out, you're gonna that's have you're gonna hit you you you're gonna hit this this look. So if we can we if we can raise up more or um audio engineers, uh, uh, recording engineers, mixing engineers. There's so many aspects of it. The same way I know the pie has gotten a lot smaller. So it's not a lot of the 90s where money was being made, made, made in gospel. But I think we're getting back to that place. That's the first thing. The second thing is if we can, if we can somehow um, make people aware more aware of the process and i think you've done a great job of that um um john of just making people recording an album right and all of these things that go into it i just think just making noise man and again being a part of these institutions so that the reason why the grammys is changing is because we're a part of it now we said oh you need to be a part of it to do something okay cool watch Mm -hmm. this Mm mm-hmm that's just my that's just my thought. No, that's yeah. a good take. That's a really good take. You, you even when it right. comes to all those engineers, everything that you just said is all true. But one of the things that I find is that a lot of artists, particularly those who aren't quite where they aspire to be, you know, everything is fiscally motivated. And so it's like if you get an engineer out here that says they'll mix your record for fifty dollars, mm. some of them are like fifty dollars. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? And it's like. You go to these guys who are watering down what you do, what I do. You know what I'm saying? That they're mm-hmm. literally watering down and devaluing what it what it really takes. You know, like someone says, I got this record. I want it to sound like Tasha. Okay. But you gave me Whoopi Goldberg and you want Halle Berry back. <laughs> I'm 
trying to find a way to cover. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's I'm good. Just saying. And it's like, <laughs> no, no Whoopi. I mean, I shout love, out to shout Whoopi out to Goldberg. Whoopi. We <laughs> love you. I love, I love you. We love you. <laughs> but I'm just saying. You know, and it's like and then you can't, they into. don't understand why if you want Vaughn to produce your record, why it costs X. Yeah. And it's and it's going let me say this, it's going to cost X. It's gonna cost X. It's going <laughs> it's going to cost X. <laughs> That's I it. I mean, even I even, no, because, because even yeah. I have gotten to a point, man, we you know you reach a point in your career, man, where you have to guard your gift. I have literally put my hands on stuff I should have never put my hands on. Period. Wow. End of story. I should have said no, no. Uh, I'm sending you an offer no. right now. No, 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 no. You reach a point where, it, and like I have learned, you don't let somebody else determine your value. Drop. See, that's why you bishop. Hold on. Where them claps yeah, at, man? Come on. on. We need we need an MD. We do. This. See, I'm trying to run the screen. Let, let me pull up. I'm about, I'm about to pull up. I'm about to pull up my organ. I'm about to pull up an organ patch. Nah, that was a bar. Uh, you know why? You know why you don't do that? I'm gonna tell you the hard lesson that I learned is that people will mess up your integrity, right? Because we make things at a certain level, and I'll never forget. Somebody said, "Vaughn, I got." You know, they hit me with the Vaughn. I got to have you, Doc. I got to have you. I said, Well, having me cost this much. You got right, to buy me a drink Lord first. Come on, let the Lord do you. Yeah, but but here, here's the here's the challenge. Here's the challenge though. When we went through a slump, let's say 2020, a lot of people went through through some challenging times, right? And let's just be honest. Well, okay, let me be honest. I produced some stuff, man, that I would have never done before. But we we was getting a bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We needed to get that bag. And what I learned that year, and it was one project in particular that I had gave a crazy discount on, right? But I did it because, again, we got to keep the lights on. But yeah, do you know on. that one project almost discredited everything that I had worked to build? So yeah, I made wow. up in my mind, never again. Yeah. Never again. It costs what it costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it yeah. costs what it costs. You got to guard your gift, man. Yeah, yeah. You definitely do. You definitely do. Let's put. I'm gonna pull up a couple of comments here that I think came in that I think add some value to the conversation. I just was was dropping them in as I was starting them as they was coming in. Um, my man, legendary Mike says, uh, credits need to be acknowledged how they are at the end of a movie. And then he, <laughs> Last track of the album. Right, he he, follow, he followed up with a ten Mastering minutes of credits. Engineer. <laughs> Mastering engineer Roger Willis. What's funny though, um, I work in podcasts a lot, and there's a lot of the audio drama podcasts. They do that at the end of every episode. Yeah. Somebody reads off the credits of everybody who worked on it, written by so and so, music by so and so, yeah. audio engineer by so and so. They literally go down the line. I'm doing it on my next every album. Episode. It's gonna that sound. If I did it on letters in a bottle, it would have been like songwriting. Von Phoenix, producer, Von Phoenix, <laughs> mixing engineer, Von Phoenix, mastering engineer, Von Phoenix, vocals, Von Phoenix, packaging, Von Phoenix. <laughs> you know There's nothing wrong with that. There's you know nothing wrong with that. How, how about this? How about this? Since we consume music basically through DSPs these days, how yeah. about the DSPs say you cannot submit a record without a minimum of the liner notes yeah but i've been i've been saying that for years like i don't understand like can you why just, can you iTunes. just force them to do the liner notes please yeah like in in, in, in in on our phones like in apple they've been on music app they've built in and even on spotify they built yeah. in all of these features where you can tap in and see the lyrics you can tap in and can, hit a button and it does can this we, can we have a can we have a liner notes please can we just get the credits wouldn't it can be I cool only title. what if we did something we like look by you because since we don't have the paper yeah. anymore it would be cool yeah. to get a new album and just scroll through the lookbook on yeah. on apple that would be a dope Give me that shout out i mean apple. even if you don't have all the fancy artwork and all that can you please have the team yeah give me that experience back i i used like you talked about it earlier I missed it. 
like being it. able to go into a store and you know you at FYE and I'm doing my props and you grab a set of headphones and you Bro, put them on and yes. you're looking at the credits and you're just you know you got the CD this is a trackpad but you got the CD and you flipping through while you listening <laughs> yes. give, give me that experience it's back it's an experience on music. it's an experience Bro, I, like I think we can't we, touch we our music and anymore but senses they give us that. either the smell of that paper. The smell of it, yeah. In your I'm, hands. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about you, Vaughn. That's the second time you said it's about the smell of the plastic and stuff like that. Like, hey, <laughs> unk, I got a, unk, I have a checkered pass. Don't put me on black. I have a checkered pass. I've ha- I have a history. Uh, uh, uh. But they, they should be able to do that though. That's that's I just I don't get it. Like why they have it? Why they have it built that in? Or come up with a better robust system for showing um, yeah, the thing. It's- it's like some of my biggest records, man. I go out there, they under somebody else's name. Wow. You know That's all like, Hey, man, problem, hey, uh, we'll talk offline about that, but you know there's a sheet that you can send in to. Good yeah, we need God to be, almighty. It's ridiculous, man. It, it, it's crazy. It's a process. No, you, it's, a, it's process. a process, but there's a sheet that you can send in, a nice little... I am, I, that's why I love IMDB, because IMDB, yeah. I can go in and fix my own credits. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. a good point. I, that's a, I that's wish a it was really that easy good. for that's a really good point, man. It's just like so many different things. I think we was when we was passing the conversation, this popped up. Uh, what was this when he says, uh, uh, Bobby Allen said, Timberland said it, the producers and engineers are the fast cars and the artists are just driving the fast cars and looking good. <laughs> and that's a point, man, because like when you look at, I, I see this a lot of times and I've had conversations with my various constituents about this. Like when you look at the, artist profile like on the social media like an instagram or twitter or whatever it'd be four or five hundred thousand one point one million we talking in gospel and you know we get into secular it's a whole different it's a whole different thing but you look at the artist ig and profile a hundred thousand 150k 250k then you go say man who produced who's this producer always producer is producer xyz you go look up producer xy five thousand followers like, cause, and they're not giving those credit, like they're dropping the albums. And like you said, they're not giving us the credit. They're not putting who produced it, who recorded it. Like I had that happen with a recent record that I produced and mixed. And like the artist went out and posted it and they were like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, this, the album, go get it. Yada, yada, ying. Like, like, uh, Bobby said, they're just out there looking good that's all about their perspective but i'm like i had to go and grab the album artwork and post it myself you know what i mean and say hey i produced this hey i mixed this as well you know go check it out go get it or whatever but i didn't get that credit from the artists uh themselves so you know what i mean it's just it's just one of those but things man like that do i have worked with artists now and, artists I mean, do it. just to bring some balance i have worked with some art do do that they they Absolutely. Put me on the text thread and they'll say, hey, guys, post this at 12 o'clock. Here's the artwork. Thank you guys for working so hard. And yeah. I'm going to I'll say this publicly. Shout out to Tasha Cobbs. When wow. I say yeah. since day one, and I'm not saying this whether she hears this or not. I'm saying this because I yeah. think when people don't do things well, we make it a big deal. But when people do things well, sometimes we silent mm-hmm. about it. I will say this. Since the very first record I ever worked with her on, which my every record I worked with her on since, no, in no city, she treated me like a top notch professional. Always made sure wow. everybody felt like they were important yeah. in the process. I think, I think, in that aspect, that should be modeled, that should be modeled mm. throughout, it but, but we don't hear enough about that. Yeah. And I have. Purpose it, but the reason why I have this many followers, honestly, is partly because those artists shouted me out on their you Instagrams out. Yeah. and stuff. So, hey, Ron, I bet you didn't know. Shout that. out to them. Did you did you know that I mastered the Tasha's One Place DVD? I didn't because I didn't. But I didn't. But 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 Roger said I, 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 I can't go to a reason. <laughs> See what, that's, see what the, that's the answer of the day. I didn't because I didn't. <laughs> I just went ahead. I, no, I did not know. I didn't. Wow. Know. But yeah, yeah like you said, it's it's just it's just not it's just not that that credit system and the and the credit from the artist just isn't isn't there. But there are a lot, like you said, that do that. And like like for instance, I look at Jamel 
uh, Kimbro, one of my big Kimbro. bro favorite producer, uh, like top. He's definitely in my Shout top three. Kimbro. Not even top five, yeah. top three. Jamel is my just neighbor. there. And it's crap. he is Jamel, really good Kimbro about and that. D-Lo, all of them are right in there. And that, that oh, little... they, they, will, oh, yeah. they will drop. And they, they're good about that. They're good about like highlighting you know, who uh, produced, I mean, not who produced, but who worked with them. I mean, like, he yeah. just did a post the other day. He literally mm-hmm. just said, here's everybody that worked on this Melvin Crispell record. Yeah. Like, everybody, yeah. down to who endorsed uh, mm-hmm. us for the keyboards for the night, who ran back line, who, this is who ran back line for that night. He had all and of that there because he wanted it. to give credit to where credit is due because, yeah. like you said, Raj, that's what we have in this industry. That's our blood that keeps... Uh, that keeps clients flowing to us. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it honest. That's what, uh, because that was, that's the all of us get this conversation when we get uh, leads and when they hit us up about mixing, about mastering, about producing. You know, if they have no recollection of us before, maybe they just heard us on social media or YouTube or whatever, and then they reach out about producing. It's like, hey, you know, we'd love to get you to work on whatever X Y Z project. The very next question is, can I hear some of your work? whatever right. you worked on what is that yes. they want to know who they're working with and that you've done something of significance and like you said if they're just going to regular sources like all music or genius or you know anything like that they're not really getting that whole picture of what you like i, I guarantee you all of you guys that are watching this outside of a select few probably don't know uh totally who uh roger willis was until we highlighted him like Oh, this is the guy who mixed and who mastered this. This is the guy that mastered that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's just it's a it's a thing, man. It's like we got to figure out like how to get that and highlight. And you that know, thing, and you know, know part of the reason why that John. is in terms of why people don't know because I mean I'm not really in it for the fame and all of that. You no, know absolutely. What I'm I want to be recognized among my peers because I yeah. do what I do. You know, I made a lot of mistakes and some stuff. I wish I could go back and redo. Like it's all. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you're going to recognize people, let's just be fair about it. Let's be That's fair. all I'm asking. If you're going to recognize anybody, then just be fair. That's it. Yeah. it either be fair or don't recognize nobody. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, Unc. This is what I learned. Yeah. And I learned this the hard way. I'm not a social media guy. John knows this. John will receive. 40 text messages from me throughout the week. Hey, man, how my camera's looking? Uh, do my audio sound yesterday. all right? I sound like this I yesterday. immediately turn into, like, I'm in my 80s. Do y'all, y'all young folks still on the IG, huh? huh? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to try that thread out, huh? 40, 40, 40 <laughs> 500. No, I'm sorry. It's funny, it's man. But, but I'm just, saying that to say, what I have learned is, if you don't say something, mm. you can't count on nobody else to say it. Yeah. I've learned it. You have yeah. to be the one that says, "Do you what?" Babyface has a whole. The first person I ever seen do it was R. Kelly, okay. um, the artist. Mm. Um, he did a segment of his show. If you've ever seen R. Kelly show, where he goes like almost on hooks on songs that he. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And, now, and I've watched Babyface do it. I didn't. And nobody mm. knew that that Babyface wrote "I'm Not Your Superwoman" until he tells you he he produced it, and then you like, I can hear it now. Or yeah. End of the road, or all the I mean, not end of the road. Uh, the, the 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 not. Oh God, I'm about to, all the all the uh, 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 boys to men songs and all the stuff that he's done from Bobby mm-hmm. Brown. But he does it, and we go, "Wow, I yeah. didn't know." Think about I didn't that. Know. Yeah, this is Babyface. Yeah. And we're mm-hmm. like, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. And I know his credit went on that album. So yeah. again, I think it has, it goes back to, because because of the subject that we're talking about, somebody has to get in that room mm. because everybody has their agendas, but Come somebody on. has to have the agenda of the engineer and, and say, hey, this yeah. is a, re- I think we can make this, because the argument has to be, this can be a heavy category. We can yeah. never say, we can't say, oh, let's just make this a category. And we see the same five names a hundred times. Yeah. It needs to be at least 20 names that we can then downsize into a nomination. Big facts. Right? A category. 
and say these are the guys. The only struggle with that, and I agree with you, on paper that sounds good. The only problem is is that the records that are being nominated are the records that are being nominated. You know, mm. and and the records that are being nominated are the ones that tend to be the records that had budget and the production is done well and everything is done well, well. the singers are well and it's a great record. You know, but the, a lot of the engineers that are doing a lot of the lower budget or no budget records are unfortunately work of out work. Even if the record is good, they had no they had no budget to work the record. True. You know how yeah. many records I worked on? I'm sure we all have that yeah. were great records, but never saw the light of day. Oh man, the, the, I, I got a hard drive full of them. Some, bro. I'll give it to I have hard one more hard drive right now. Oh, hey, John, let's play record. some of them. No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even, there's even Hashtag. records that did see the light of day that still didn't get no no love. Like, Lawrence is not nowhere near this Stellar's list. I'm like, yo, Lawrence, oh, I was gonna, great. So we was on Billboard. Yeah. Like, what, like, what happened? Yes, yeah. number ones. Hey, yes. I, I, I saw a couple of comments. I'm not sure on what you're looking at, uh, John. Yeah. I'm but uh, I'm looking at a comment that somebody said, is anybody mentoring the young engineers? Yeah, I was making my way yeah, to that, that one. Yeah. So, can I, yeah, can the, I speak on that real quick? You absolutely talk, can. This, this speak right on here. it. Come on, speak on it. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah. Um, I, get, I get asked often about possible mentoring, you know, uh, opportunities and things of that nature. And I, Ooh, and, I, and I actually tried it a couple of times, and I'm not averse to it. But one thing, let me just say this to every young engineer. We are not going to drive your dream. Mm. Preach the word, River. Your say. dream, you must be the driver of your dream. Man, I literally told this guy. I was like, yeah, man, you know, it's cool. And um, I didn't hear from him. And he's like, well, I was waiting for you to call me and tell me, you know, what? you was waiting for what? Boy, goodbye. Hey, man. You better make me know it. Keep calling me if I if I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah. Call me again. Let me know. Make me know that this is what you want. And the part of the mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the other part of the problem with the industry is everybody with a MacBook and a mic think that they're a recording engineer. Yeah. Oh, bro. It's, it's like it's so easy to get in the red now. That's why a lot of these young and up and coming artists are being bamboozled. Mm. That's, no, that's why they're, that's they people are watering down the Vons, the Rogers, the John Mikes, everybody. You know, we everybody's getting watered down because it's like, yeah, I can. I literally had somebody. Man, anyway, getting back to the engineers, you want to, you want someone to mentor you, make them know it. Mm -hmm. No, make that's good. It. That's good. Because nobody's gonna drive your dream, bro. I put you on a bullhorn, and I'm gonna tell you what's going up. You know, we always talk, always talk about how we got started and the people. Bro, I had somebody who was like, "Yeah, I want to." You know, it was. Just, I'm, he's going. I'm not even going to say what instrument he plays. It was a guy. He wants to get on. So I'm like, "All right, well, let me see." In my mind, let me see what we're working with. All right, cool. I'm throwing a couple of things. Hey, man, shoot me this. Shoot me that. You know, I said we make some money from it. Cool. I'll make sure I break you off. But just I want to hear your thought process and how you work. This dude got oh, upset. Hey, he one second. Like, I don't know. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, Vaughn. Huh. One second. I think you yeah. breaking up a little bit. You breaking up a little bit. I don't know what what happened. Yeah, you was you. Yeah, you on pause. Your hand is stuck. Your hand is stuck like by your face. Your video. Your video is stuck. Yeah. Stuck still. Yeah, you might. You got that matrix thing going on now. Yeah, you got the. Yeah, you you looking like Gumby out here. Stop motion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah but uh, I'm stop motion. yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh maybe do like Dale did. Dale went out and came back in and Dale uh is looking a little fuzzy. Could he's clearing up, but he's looking. Yeah. Am I still fuzzy? Yeah, both of y'all kind of you we just see VP. <laughs> VP are you oh, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out and come back in. Yeah, let's try yeah, that. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back and beat up on these aspiring I'm gonna go back and beat up on the aspiring engineers. Now yeah, I don't want to be proud, but listen. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, but the aspiring engineers, I I, I think it's great um, that there are legions of people who want to become engineers. I think yeah. that's awesome. Um, but at the same time, 
you know, I think that there, there, a lot of them, I, I, I'm cut from a different cloth. I'm a little older right, than yeah. a lot of these guys out there. And so I come from an era where we sat back and we learned, you know, some, some young people, you can't hardly tell them nothing, man. It's like, here's, here's how, here's how I define professionalism. Mm -hmm. Anybody, let me, let me, let me back up. If I, if, if you bake a cake, John, mm -hmm. and I come to your crib and I get a piece of cake from you and the cake is just slamming, it's just, man, it's wonderful. And I say, John, Mm -hmm. Can I pay you to bake me a cake? And mm -hmm. you say, sure. And you charge me and I buy the cake and it tastes nothing like the cake I got from you last time. Mm -hmm. You are not a professional. That's true. Professionals don't get lucky. <laughs> anybody can get lucky mixing a song or mastering a song or whatever. You Anybody can get lucky. But the problem, true, the reason why the professionals charge what they charge is because they're not getting lucky. Yeah. Because they they have proven processes in the way that they do what they do. Vaughn as a producer, I've worked with Vaughn. Vaughn is a proven commodity. He's a proven, he's proven. There's different yeah. other cats out there, they're proven. That's why they cost what they cost. They not it's not luck. Mm -hmm. and so yep. a lot of these engineers, they have a cursory information about something, and then you can't tell them nothing. And it's like I, I don't I don't get it. You know, they they did one song that happened to do well, but the next ten songs sound like garbage. Mm -hmm. They got lucky. Yeah, even, no, definitely. I don't I don't I don't even have to as an engineer. I don't have to like the song, but mm -hmm. I want to like the production. I want to like the production. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's good stuff. That's 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 solid. And and speaking, even digging into to to that, the mentor side of it, we're working on building out some more robust things. We got some really dope stuff coming down the pipeline. But in the meanwhile, if you don't know, and this is a quick little commercial break we can drop in here. Uh, we actually have a recording and mixing a course on our site if you did not know that and this is a this is a qr code you got here that you can like literally screenshot this tap on it and go that's 149 bucks you'll waste that on just about anything exactly. but this is what you on, get on, for on that on a, yeah you, you, you waste it on the plug-in plug you know that you shoes. won't use <laughs> on shoes right. come on preach the word <laughs> On them J's, not no, not even the J's, the jump mans. You don't even get that Nike Air. Man, when you, you get to my stuff. age, man, you just be buying them them hot Skechers. Yeah, man, come on, come on, save come that on, money, man. get you some Skechers, and invest in uh, yourself uh, for this, this this standpoint. Because uh, what you get with this is a class with John Yash, who is like the premier gospel engineer right now. Uh, he uh, for mixing and for uh, pre um, uh, recording, we did a man, this has got to be like a 20 hour course with Yash, uh, with him going through the process of recording drums, the process of recording, um, recording a uh, bass, the process of recording uh, guitar, the pro like like in an actual studio, what he does, uh, how to get those records uh, sounding at the space that they need to be sounded. So we have that. We have um, intro to Pro Tools, if you don't know anything about it. Look at 29 bucks. This sounds, I feel like this is QVC now all of a sudden. But, you know, we get these, uh, we have these courses that we have set up. This is all about, because I'm not just about having conversation. I'm all about having conversation and providing resources along with those conversations. Um, I'm trying to find the one, you know, we're talking about mastering. We're working on getting Rob up here. But in the meantime, if you don't, why, um, let me find it. Let me find it. I got to find it in here because uh, we got the mixing. We have, I'm trying to find the master. Why are you one. finding it, man? You know, people must invest in themselves. You know, if you don't, again, no one's going to drive your dream. Yep. End of the day. <laughs> you want to, you want to succeed. Number one, you must have intestinal fortitude. Come on. Number one. And number two, no matter what anybody says, you don't quit. You're going to get fired. Somebody going to not like you. They're they not going to like your work. Keep, man, use those opportunities to fuel yourself to where you're trying to get to. Yeah. Because I can tell you from, hey, I could, man, I've been fired a bunch of times. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hey, I preach the I word. Just, I didn't have people say my stuff sucked. Hey, you know, I had to just, I just had to, I just had to, um, 
take it, man. I just had to take it and keep working until I could get to a point now where I just feel confident, you know, where if somebody asks me, can I master? The answer is yes. Yeah. No, what for I real. Hesitation. And then you see here we have uh, even producing gospel with the man that's on the uh, on the uh, the, the the live right now, uh, Von Phoenix. How to produce gospel. Uh, so we have these resources. Uh, even Jamel Kimbrough, we talked about him uh, earlier. We have a master class with him uh, on producing gospel. Uh, so uh, we we provide these resources uh, for you guys. And I'll leave that up there for a little bit because I think I saw somebody else scan it. Um, uh, we have these resources on there, uh, for, uh, this, and you can literally screenshot this live and then go into your camera roll and you can tap on the, um, the QR code in your camera roll. If you didn't know that, and it'll actually take you, uh, to the thing. If you're not like watching, like on a computer where you can like scan it with your phone, like type thing, but we've got classes from them. We've got classes from, uh, Jan Hunter Jr. on, um, on, um, you know, production and mixing. We've got classes from uh, Aaron Lewis uh, on uh, production. You know what I mean? We've got uh, classes from, these are people that we've mentioned on this particular live. We've got classes from uh, David Outing, you know, teaching uh, his process on how he does things. Um, so we've got all of these uh, these resources. So for those who are asking those questions, uh, because we were getting those questions um, while we were uh while we were on the while we were going here we were getting those questions uh let me get back to the chat yeah, people people looking for somebody to jump start I, I i love what Ryder was saying about how you know people don't really show that they really want to do it like, like all of the stories and all the people i've ever talked to it's always they kept calling the studio they kept showing up they kept doing this they kept doing that in order to get their foot in the door they wasn't waiting on somebody to give them a shot and i think that's unfortunately what a lot of people want. And at some point we've probably all been guilty of that wanting somebody yeah. to just hand us something. And that's just not going to happen. Like you got to right. build it. Like, I think, you know, Vaughn said it earlier, like finding artists that are in the same level. If you just start now engineering work, work that person who's working on their very first album like that y'all at the same perfect. level. So that's the perfect time to get with somebody and work so it's either you don't want to do that or you just really just trying to make some money and even still you got to have the work that says yeah. that you're worth somebody paying you x amount of dollars for stuff so at yeah. some point you're just gonna have to just grind it out and get to where you want to get to whether somebody mentors you or not because if you're waiting on somebody to mentor you and yeah. that day never comes guess what you're gonna look up and you'll be 50 years old and still sitting around waiting Still sitting around yeah. waiting, man. Hey, when the door is open, just because just just because a door opens, it's like I open a door to somebody, but it's, I'm gonna tell them real quick. It's gonna cost you something to walk through that door, though. What were you saying, Vaughn? Vaughn, you were saying something? Now I was making sure you can hear me first, and then <clears throat> we can hear you. It's still a little choppy for whatever reason. The devil that got yeah, in your got in your your Ethernet. Man, me and Dale, we've been going. Dale, don't you worry about it. We're gonna do a shut in later. And, yeah, and guys, we're the big to it fast this week. Um, um, what I was saying, yeah, no, nah. a guy named those spirits, anything nobody talks to us in the studio, studio which had. Mm. Yeah. I, I started when I started producing first life, you know, figured it out. I had an opportunity to work and they said, Hey man, and make money from that, let's go. Here. Three hundred I paid my gas to get it. Oh, we lost Look. it. Don't, the devil don't want to hear your testimony. I know, man. man. It's just weird. 
it cut you out again. It cut you out again, man. I, I you were driving your dream, brother. Yeah. I think we got what you we got the gist of kind of what you were saying. It I, may, and it makes sense. I, I think it's point, just it's I, just cut it's just cutting you, you out. <laughs> Bless his heart. The devil is the devil is oh, a, the devil the <laughs> <to> hell. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we got your QR code up there. So if you, you really want to hear what, what uh what Vaughn is is got going because he has a he has a, a two plus hour course. Uh, on the site on on uh producing in um um in ableton which is funny enough which is really really cool but yeah it's it's just these things we're all about building those resources uh for producers for engineers and like like uh Vaughn was saying it's like it's not about where you know where you go in your journey or where you uh where you end up it's about just starting and getting getting the process moving we've lost the art of mentorship we've lost the art of internship you know those used to be things like 20 20 years ago and the the guy who like we take like um the number top two mixing engineers in gospel right now are two guys by the name of john yash and john blast right those are the two top mixing engineers in the industry right now. Bla uh, ja Yash crazy. spent 50 plus, almost 50 years now, you know, working in the industry and building that credi credibility. And then, you know, how Yash, how Blast became the number two? Blast became the number two because he spent almost 10 years interning and being mentored directly by John Yash. And so if you look at how so the but because the baton is getting passed coincidence yeah very coincidental <laughs> coincidental yeah. you know what i mean but so like roger was saying like you 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 say you want to be mentor you want to grow you want to get in there here's the guy that's mastering like a, at least 30 to 40 percent of gospel right now they're right here on this live you know what I mean? Why, why, why isn't his inbox full of people saying like, "Hey, man, like, you know, I want to be mentored by you. I want, I wanted, and then create a demand, and then we can build out something, an infrastructure that'll allow him to do it directly. You know, or he can create his own infrastructure or whatever. You know, there's there's ways to build this thing out, and we can definitely educate and build up the next generation of engineers, the next generation of producers, the next generation of, uh, you know, of musicians all across the board but you got to be willing to invest in yourself uh and youtube just ain't gonna get it spending like yeah. hours on youtube like looking at somebody else's Bro. review on a plugin or how they do it or whatever you got to get in the mix you know hey, no every time i hear the word plug in man and, 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 and I, i'm not a, i'm not a, hold on let me just say i'm uh -oh. not an analog snob i'm not okay well i'm so when i'm a when i every time i hear the word plug in i start itching and the reason why, <laughs> and and the reason why, is Not because alert. so many so many unlearned engineers think that this plugin is going is what's going to take me there. Mm. <laughs> have you got hey? Have you got this plugin? This plugin is going to be the one to make my record like a Vaughn record. You know, it's like what you don't understand is the basics. Come That's on, what you don't get. It's like yeah. we got sensory over. Everybody got way too many plugins. Everybody. That's the truth. Stuff we don't forgot we Everybody got. Everybody got too many plugins right now. You don't even know how to use a basic EQ, hey, a basic uh, compressor. That's what you do. You know what you do is you give. <laughs> exactly. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, I'm no, so sick this of what it, you man. Do. I'm sick of it. You tell them here is a use two things. Uh oh. Compression and EQ, and I want. If you learn that's those two things, that's you the learn key those two to things you right win. There. Yeah, you learn those two things right there, you're gonna win. Look, I'm gonna go this way. Don't forget signal flow. If you cannot if you cannot mix a record with the stock plugins, you suck. Ooh. I said what I said. Ooh. Hey, hold on, hold on. Well, we're gonna stay right there for a second. Right. Let, let's stay right there for a second because I got something for. Cool. I got some uh, form with that. Okay, uh, uh, I okay. love the fact hey, that you, you said it. You know uh, why I, I love that, the fact that, that you John? said that. Look, this is this is why this is why this is why this is why uh, I wanted to stop real quick with that because we have again. Look, we got to turn. We got to keep the lights on some kind of way. Look, I, I you know 
we gotta keep the lights on but we have like templates this is a template that we did that uses only stock plugins and this is a whole gospel mixing template that allows you to mix gospel it has everything laid out eq compression on the channel with basic settings that allow you to achieve uh a a very a good sound uh with effort but it also uh allows you to look at uh how a mix should be organized it lets you see how to use compression on a snare how do you how we compress in the snare how we compress you can drop your files in there and you can see how does it change the sound what is it what are we doing right. to keep that sound how are we using samples within the uh hey, in the thing John, we got it for I need, uh, I, need, for I need you to create a course on this subject for the uh -oh. love of god can you please or somebody teach these people game structure oh for see the and that's the thing god. even with this we have with with this template with this template, like comes a set of instruction that tells them about gain structure. Yeah, it please. needs to be negative 18 dB coming into the template. Don't drop I mean, your it's, files it's, normalized into this template. It, we, so we it, have that in there. And we yeah. also have it for logic. We also have it for logic for those of uh, your logic users. We're working on Ableton. I'm gonna be working with uh with Vaughn on that, and we're working on um uh, studio to your, one. To, to your I'm sorry to interrupt to your yeah. listeners, to the John Mike listeners is listening right now. Stop pressing the record button and go learn some basic stuff. Mm -hmm. Learn game structure. That is so important. And look, do you understand when you're using plugins, you need to maintain that game structure all the way through all them plugins that you're using? Mm -hmm. And oh, and one last thing, please uh -oh. be delivered from crap. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using all these crap plugins. Preach Stop. the word. <laughs> Stop it. Be delivered from crack. Preach the word, man. All the crack. All right. Shout out to the crackheads out there. Shout out, shout out, shout out to All the crackheads. Crack crackheads out there. Stop it. Wrist twist. The doors and lights are open. Stir fry. That's good, man. That is so. That is so good, man. That is so good. This has been an amazing conversation. Let me see. If there's, I know there's a couple Kitchen of and wrist twist. Listen, like it's right. <laughs> I try to find. This one is good. Yeah. Stock plugins will also let you uh, let you learn to hear the differences in the plugins that you think you need. True. Uh, you kind of breaking up, Vaughn, a little bit. You still kind of breaking up for 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 whatever reason. I'm not sure why the the internet won't let you be great today. Um, well, we can uh, let Vaughn talk. Just get, just give him five seconds in between each word he say. Right, so right, talking. right. Cause he on a delay. He on latency. He got too many plugins on the master bus. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get me after this stream because when he hear it, <laughs> he gonna oh, get buffer. me. <laughs> <laughs> let me just let me jump in real quick. And say one. I am not against plugins, people. They are great tools. They're great. They're great. But when I look at some people's sessions, I'm like, golly, man, you got 200 plugins on man. this session. Like, you're not mixing. You're not mixing. You're fixing. So, if, okay, here, here's a quick question I want to throw at you, um, um, uh, uh, Bishop Willis. Uh, if you had to, to, to like, because we got people in, they use plugins. They, they, they don't, they're not, they're not, they're not, uh, they don't have the, 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 you know the 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 honor and the privilege to sit by so much uh analog gear that you get a chance to but if you had to suggest some things for mastering uh for um you know some guys that are just getting into it and wanting to kind of up their game and they and there's some plugins like what plugins are you using if you have to master with plugins what plugins are you using right now if i was doing like in the box mastering there's a couple things i mean you know <sighs> Pick an EQ. I don't care what EQ. Pick an EQ. Pick a compressor. Pick a clipper. Pick pick a limiter, mm. and don't don't get off of it until you know it. Because I That's think good. part of the problem is the, the the reason why you never really develop a sound is because you're using too many different things. That's good. You know, Come on. You know when 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 we back in the day when we went to the studio, the desk was the desk. The EQs mm. and the compressors and the mic pre's and whatever they had, that's what they had. That's and they good. really learned how to use them. The problem now is you got 50 different EQs, 50 compressors, 50 limiters, 50 delay, 50 of everything. 
and you never learn how to use any of it. That's the problem. That's why you mm. can't develop you can't develop a sound because you're not consistent with nothing that you do. Dang. Can you, if you just get consistent, you, a mechanic, when you go to take your vehicle to be serviced, that mechanic, nine times out of ten, uses the same tools every time. Exactly. He has a, a specialty tool for some things, but he used the same tools. If you're going to get an EQ plug-in, make sure it's a good one and just live with it. Yeah. Get, 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 a, get the Pro-Q3 as an example. Just that. live with it. Are there others? There are absolutely others, but that's a good one. Just live yeah. with it. Get yourself a good limiter. Get the Pro L2 limiter, whatever. I mean, whatever you do, stay there until you really learn it. How yeah. many? How many of us know have heard of Microsoft Word? Everybody raise your hand, right? Right. Oh yeah. How many of us really know how to use it? I hadn't used Microsoft Word that's, in like that's what I thought. 20 years. But they keep coming out with new versions and we ain't never learned how to use version one. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, church. There are features in version one that we still don't know how to use. Dang. You know what I'm saying, man? It's like stop it with all this extra. Hey, man, stop it. Stop buying mm. plugins and invest in some knowledge. Wow. Stop buying plugins which, and investing in knowledge. Which brings us right back to this whole mentoring thing. Like, sometimes people come in wanting stuff and you don't, don't even have the bare minimum to even yep. get into the door. Like, you don't even know where record is. <laughs> I'm going to get a drop, man. I got to get my drop game. Like, it's, the, it's the red button. Like, you don't know the red It's right there. Like, the red one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are, these are all facts, man. I got my we got your audio. Video looks still a little choppy. Come, come on, speak on it, Vaughn. Speak on it. We can hear you. Yeah, we, we can, can hear you. you. We can hear you. Because here's what I'm getting ready to say. Remember that project that I told you about the first one I produced for Tasha called Smile? Yeah, called Smile. What if yeah. I told you this project was produced with all Logic stock, was mixed with all Logic stock? Oh wow! The entire project from there you stop, go. start, including the drum replacement was stop. Was all done logic. And had that. Gosh, oh, that's bro. what I'm saying, bro. The whole thing was made <laughs> with stock, with stock plugins. Tell the truth. So I'm not wow. even gonna yeah. tell you how many she sold out the trunk. It sounded and. I think part of the problem is I was raised in the 80s and they didn't start caring about kids to 88. So I was born in the end time. It was you be quiet. You go somewhere and ain't nobody. And so that, when, I'm around, to when I'm around people that are of authority, I have learned how to keep my mouth shut and learn and watch before I get my perceived intelligence into situation. Because if I'm watching, I don't know how to do what it is I'm trying to learn how to do. And the things that I have learned, 99% of the things that I have learned have been because my son now wants to go play. 99% of the things that I have learned have been because have been because sorry my man have been because stop but have been because I feel like that that do on the uh, uh, CNN ninety nine percent of the things I've learned have been because I came in the room I sat down and I got quiet and I watched what was happening and I received yeah. what they were talking about before I opened up my mouth to interject myself into a conversation that I'm not even on the level of talking. You know what I mean? It's just it's just a matter of being Amen. humble. Here, here's, here's the thing, man. I'm a, I'm I'm good with like people who got a chip on their shoulder about whatever it is. But if you open up your mouth, make sure you write. That's mm. all I got to say. Mm. If you're gonna open up your mouth, make sure you're right. And that and the problem is is too many people are running off at the mouth for what they think they know and they're not right. They're just completely and utterly wrong. Completely it's wrong. like 
if you if you fresh out of the if you fresh out of high school in the NBA and you can put up numbers, mm. you know what I'm saying? The vet, hey, they gonna respect <laughs> you because why? Because Kobe, because you yeah. do what you do, you get respect. If you come at me or Vaughn or any anybody on this live, and you know what you're talking about, you get my respect. It's it's real simple. And the reason why you know what you're talking about is because you've invested in yourself and the time and energy it takes to learn. But if you come exactly. at me with some old whack stuff talking about these plugins and this, man, get out of here. Go mm -hmm. somewhere and sit down. Wade's got the best plugins! <laughs> you hey, man, you ain't got that Wade's SSL? Somebody just asked me that. I, like, the other I mean, day. okay. Like, no, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no. I don't I, listen. First of all, I don't <laughs> need any more plugins. I'm just gonna right. do. John Mike can't have all the plugins he wants because it's his. You know, it's my business. I'm making yeah, records. Man. I'm making records. I'm not teaching courses. I'm teaching courses on how to make the plugins. I'm Come still on. learning how to use my slate. I'm still learning how to use. I'm still learning. Forget that. I'm still learning Honestphere. I don't need to buy wow. another synth plugin right now. This thing has so much in What plugin is that? And then what is Honestphere? Well, what plugin is that? Honestphere. Well, man, I, the reason wow. why I know how to do all of this is because I have been spending time with this one plugin. You all over the place. That's it right there. <laughs> That's it. Do, do I mean, mean we're talking about people that don't know how to layer sounds on a motif, though. So, you know, I mean, I mean, there's that. <laughs> look, man, something that Vaughn said earlier, he was trying so. to say, I think he got cut off a little bit. When he, when he was saying about, like, when you know, you go to this, you know, you go someplace and you sit down and you be quiet. Just recently, I've, I've been, I've, I had this one specific artist on my list of people that I really wanted to work with. And I approached the artist and I said, look, man, get if you give me an opportunity, it's no charge. If you use wow. it, fine. If you don't, and, and you ain't got nothing to lose. So I so I did this two or three times with this artist who was who is a multi Grammy winner, like four or five, six Grammys. And I just kept at it, man. I just kept making myself available and I kept working and I kept working and I kept working doing these records man i finally just last week did the record for this artist and i'm not bragging i'm not i'm not bragging i'm not bragging but what i'm saying is, is man you got to work man you got to yeah. work and you got to not let let the no drive you and the part of the problem is and we all got this problem you don't none of us knows what we don't know yeah, but there's so much we don't know. We don't know. We don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> and so it takes getting out there and having somebody tell you why no. What you know, you you begin to understand where your shortcomings are and what you be, you uh -huh. begin to learn what you don't know because you're out there swinging a the bat. But as long as you out there, this this a whole another podcast, man. Bro, I, yeah, I'm oh, saying, man. You know, you got to work. And the thing is, lastly. We see a Vaughn, we see a John, or whoever, and we see the trappings that have come along with their journey. Mm -hmm. But don't nobody know the story behind the glory. Come on. You don't know all the times, man, you know, dude and cried and was wondering how he's going to pay his bills or how he was going to get to the next or whatever. <laughs> all you see is what you see right now. Mm -hmm. But you don't, you don't know how many times that he... I stayed up late at night trying Come to on. learn how to use whatever it is I'm trying to learn how to use or why I just spent $12,000 on this and $20,000 on that. You don't even understand why. You don't mm. even understand how my family didn't take a vacation because of it. My wife asking me, hey, what's going on with the money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like you don't understand the sacrifices that have been made for a person who reaches a certain status. You just okay. see what you see.
Listen, I, I still peek out sometimes when I hear trucks. I'm like, wait a minute, they coming to get my car? They, they, they <laughs> <laughs> did I, did I pay that note? I, might, yes. I don't know. Yes. Did I forget? No, facts. Brother? All facts. No, this has been a dope conversation. This is... Come on. Come on. Come on. This has been a dope conversation. Uh, we've been, we've, I've enjoyed it. You know, we've been in about an hour and a half, and this is cool. Uh, we, we've, uh, it's just a dope conversation. And we, I hope that as we've been building this out, and as you guys have been listening, that hopefully this gets to the ears of some people that um, are the people that can help us make decisions. I would love next year. I mean, we just, like I said, we just got producer of the year, like, last year year before last i would love next year to see a category for engineers whether that's recording mixing and mastering uh just just in in the uh in the stellar's industry and hopefully someone is paying attention if you're paying attention let's lobby for that let's 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 talk to all my sagma members you know they always y'all always throwing it out there when it's time to vote and do all of that stuff like that man talk to the people that are the powers that be and let them know hey like this guy engineered this record you know, this guy mastered this record. This guy um, uh, produced this record. He should get some recognition. The uh, the engineers shouldn't be the people that get stuff by de facto, because I think you said it earlier, Roger, like as engineers, we don't get a uh, uh, a plaque. We don't for, for for that stellar or for that award. We don't get in there. You know, you have to do something makeshift and put it on your wall to say that you you got a stellar or you got a whatever for that. While the artist is all on, you know, social like yeah with the plaque with the with the thing or whatever uh that, that we reserve that same level of uh credit and um uh and recognition for the work that we do in the industry and i hope that this conversation and others that we're going to have in the future will help to change uh that uh and help with that man raj you got anything you want to add and close out with no nah, man i'm good i appreciate the opportunity and i appreciate the platform that you are providing you know um you know, to help educate, you know, uh, those that that are uh, where we are and those that are trying to get where we are. I mean, at the end of the day, man, you know, it's a constant, it's a constant grind to learn. For me, I'm a student and we should yeah, all be right. students, you know, and if you're not trying to get better, then what are you doing? Why are you doing it? You know, yeah. if you're not trying to win, why are you, why are you doing it? Yeah. The goal mm -hmm. is, look, I've never said I wanted to be the greatest. Only thing I've ever said is I want to earn the respect from those that I deem to be the greatest. Greatness is not something that you can bestow upon yourself. That's for mm. other people to decide. What I do want is their respect. Bars. I love that. That's it. Those bars, man. And just remember this last thing, my people. No one's going to drive your dream. You mm. must be the driver. Mm. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Roger Willis. Y'all give it up for me in the comments. Y'all make sure y'all follow, uh, follow my man. Let them know how they can follow you, Raj. How they can, oh, how they can do that, how they can connect. At this point, we are just probably going to do IG at Mr. R. Willis on IG. Uh, I'm full. I'm full. I'm tapped out on Facebook, so don't even try it. Still follow you. You just need to convert your profile to followers. I converted I know, mine like a I year. Know. You know what, man? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really not a social media dude, man. I need to hire somebody to like manage all that stuff, man. I, it's, it's overwhelming to me. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. your sensory overload the... after a while, man. I, you know. Your cousin's in the room, man. Which one? Keys? Uh, Sh Sean. What's yep. up, Keys? Yeah. That's, that's my cousin. Never high yeah, producer. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna have him on pretty soon. Um, I got some stuff. We got some stuff. Me and Sean are cooking up. We're gonna we're gonna be sharing with you guys pretty soon. Well, we appreciate you guys. Let me bring my music in. Let's bring the music in. You know what? It's time. Uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, it's been fun. Uh, we try to do these. Uh, we don't do these every week. We do these like bi-weekly, which is every two, every two weeks. Kind of like how people get paid. Sometimes we do. We drop in the same way <laughs> and do our thing. Uh, but you know how y'all connect with us, Gospel Producers. Uh, you can check out the website, gospelproducers.com. You can check out all of the resources we have uh, for uh, musicians, producers, engineers. You can check out all the other episodes of the podcast here on the channel. Uh, you'll see 
see those uh, lined up in the po- in the podcast playlist. We got some really good stuff, and we got some really good stuff that's going to be coming uh, in the soon, uh, in the near future, uh, on top of what we've already got. So make sure you guys tap in with us uh, on all things social, uh, and we will get ready to talk to you guys on the next one. Yeah, hit up Mr. Willis on ah, IG. Nope. Hit him up. You got there. XR in there. Hold on. Oh, let's get that. Let's get this straight before we get some. Make sure everybody can follow uh follow Mr. Willis uh on there. You guys know how to follow. Y'all be with us every week, every other week, so y'all know where we at. Y'all can y'all can tap in with us. But make sure y'all tap in with at Mr. R Willis on IG. Tap in with him over there. Uh so he can um uh, interact with you guys you'll never know what you'll be able to learn and what you'll be able to pick up on just by following him on those things or what have you but that's it that's all we got for y'all today uh y'all make sure y'all hit the like button and the share button on the way out and we'll talk to y'all guys on the next one we out peace